What is going on guys? We're doing something a little bit different today. We're going on a road trip and we have a 21 Honda CRV that we're gonna be taking on this trip. Honda has an economy button that's supposed to give you better fuel economy. Let's test it, see if that thing works. So we come right over here, press that economy button, you see economy on, you get this little leaf here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run numerous tanks of fuel through this car, just running down the highway. Now this isn't a scientific test, but this will give us a pretty good real life example on if our fuel economy is better with or without, or does it even make a difference? with the economy mode on Hondas. Now there are quite a few different cars that have a setting like this. Um, they're not all gonna work exactly like the Hondas, but the idea is gonna be the same. Now Honda claims that uh, when you turn on the economy mode on these cars, uh, it's gonna do a few different things. Uh, the main thing is your mid-range throttle response. It's basically gonna be reduced. So the idea with that mid-range throttle response is that you know, when you're cruising down the highway, give a little gas to get up and you know pass somebody. Um, if if we can lower the amount of throttle we're giving the car, better fuel economy is going to get. The next thing the system claims to do is limit the amount of air conditioner runtime. So uh, it's still going to work, but what they're probably doing is they're cycling that compressor a little different, running the compressor um, for a shorter duration of time. That's going to be less load on the engine, going to result in better fuel economy. And then the final thing that they're going to do is change the transmission shift points. Now, um, what I think what they're going to do there is try to limit the amount of downshifts. So when you're running down the highway, go to pass somebody once again, give it the gas, downshift. Um, it's going to limit that a little bit more, probably going to require more throttle angle before it calls for that downshift. Once again, keeping the RPMs a little bit lower, which is going to, uh, in theory, give you a little better fuel economy. Now, it's a little bit of a trick with this car because it is a CVT transmission, so it's not like an automatic where it's gonna you know, downshift from fifth to fourth, but there is still a range that the, that the transmission's gonna call for, and once again, it's gonna just try to keep it in that higher range, I think. So the way I wanna do this is, I'm gonna do every other tank, so one tank, run it normal mode, the next run it in economy mode. That's gonna spread out the different fuels I get as I travel. Um, it is summer, so air conditioner will be on the entire time. So regardless of it's in economy mode or not, the air conditioner will be on. So let's get this road trip going and uh, see if it makes a difference. So I made it back from my trip um, and to be honest I've crunched all the numbers and the results are not what I was expecting. 
So I was able to get six tanks of fuel. I ran some more than that, but those were the tanks that I could definitively say, okay, these were all highway driving, all things similar. There was a few other tanks where I forgot to reset the trip or maybe did a bunch of city driving and I want to throw those out to make this as accurate as possible. So I've got three tanks in the economy mode and three tanks in the regular. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. The first tank was 320.8 miles, 10.2 gallons, 31.4 mile per gallon. Tank two was the economy, 327, 10.7 is 30 and a half. So you can already kind of see the trend. And I just did the same thing through all of them. And once again, I did one tank regular mode, one tank economy, regular economy did every other tank. So you can see 31.4, 30.5, 31.8, and then 30.68. Last tank um, was right as we were arriving, so it is a smaller number. Wouldn't take over quite as long of a distance, but it is what it is. So actually what we ended up with is in the economy mode, average across three tanks, was 30.71 mile per gallon and in regular mode it was actually 31.05 so interestingly enough we got better fuel economy in the regular mode versus the economy mode now this is just one test you know it's a real world test it's not really scientific but um, real world driving i actually got better fuel economy in regular mode than i did in the economy mode uh, if you guys run into this, uh, any of you guys that have that eco mode, economy mode, uh, what do you see? Do you see better fuel economy uh, or not? Drop it down in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.